looking at one of the most anticipated cars this year, the Mercedes CLA. In this review, you're going to see two cars, the base CLA, the one we have here, the 250, and the AMG, the CLA 45 with 4Matic, with a lot more horsepower. What is Mercedes-Benz trying to accomplish here? They're trying to get younger people to try their brand. Typically, Mercedes-Benz owners have been older. They're getting people into this car by producing a sexy looking sedan at a good price. It starts at $33,900 and you get a lot of car for your money. How can you spot the difference between the base CLA and the AMG? The first thing you'll notice is the front grill. The grill on this car is black. The AMG one has the chrome grill and a deeper front chin spoiler. Now this particular model I'm standing in front of is the base model with one exception. It has the sport wheels that go from 17 to 18 inches. Great looking stance on this car. It looks low. It's a low slung roof line. They call it the coupe sedan and it first was introduced in the CLS years ago and they've copied that style and brought it down to a more affordable price. Around the back you get the exhaust chrome tips on the back. If you get the AMG version you get the four chrome tips. So a fantastic starting price just at $34,000 and you get a lot of content as well. Now you might think for just under $34,000 they're going to have a stripped down car, but they don't do that with the B-Class and they certainly haven't done it here with the CLA. This car comes very nicely equipped. You get the 5.7 inch screen, you get the paddle shifters on the steering wheel, and you get 12-way power seats not only for the driver but for the passenger as well. And this particular model has only two options on it. Uh, for $480 you get the backup camera and they've equipped it with 18 inch wheels just so when we take pictures of it it looks good. Uh, but this is really the base model. But you want to really go for the $2,800 premium package because that updates the interior nicely. As I mentioned, the roof is low. That gives you a panoramic sunroof, which is going to make the car feel so much brighter on the inside. Also, it gets you heated seats. That's a must-have for Canada. You get the dual zone climate control, and in that package, you get the backup camera included. So that's really what most Canadians are going to buy. Now, this is a coupe-like four-door sedan, so that means there's a compromise, and it's in the back seat. The back seat really is good for smaller people if you have to take adults on short trips it's passable but it'd really be good for kids i'd say you know under 12 or 13 years old this really is a car for a couple a professional couple that they're going to have in the city if you do need a family vehicle and you like a mercedes-benz the cheaper b-class is the way to go it's got the same drive system but you get a, a conventional upright back seat and a hatchback now speaking of cargo space this car actually has a pretty good sized trunk it's long and it's wide but it is a little bit shallower surprisingly you can get a lot of stuff back there I got to tell you, last year when the latest B-Class came out, I chose it as one of my top 10 vehicles of the year because it offers so much value. And the reasons I chose that were because of the engine. First and foremost, it's got a 2-liter direct injection turbocharged engine. That's all the latest technology with 208 horsepower. Same engine that's in this CLA 250. And it's mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. That's a basically a manual transmission automatically controlled. That's all high-tech stuff. But what you get with the CLA is you, you get the lower feel to the car. You definitely feel like you're sitting lower than the B-Class. And every single CLA that comes into Canada is equipped with a standard sports suspension. Now the sport package that you get is not really going to do anything other than get you bigger 18 inch wheels. It's more of an appearance package for $1,600. So this car feels planted and you have the option on the dashboard to switch from manual shifters for the paddle shifters, sport which is the one I like to use most of the time and this car when you kick it the 208 horsepower it delivers. I'm really surprised also by how refined it feels on the highway. Very planted and a lot of fun to drive. Impressed very impressed but I'm going to be I think even more impressed when I drive the AMG version with over 350 horsepower. Okay now we're driving the hot rod version with 355 horsepower and 332 foot-pounds of torque. We're driving in the bumpy roads around Washington DC and I can tell you right away that this ride is a lot choppier. So if you're somebody that likes a performance feeling car at all times, this might be the way to go. But if you're looking for a good all-rounder, a car that is smoother and more supple, especially in city conditions, the 250 really isn't a step down because, to be honest with you, in city traffic, you're not able to utilize all that power. Now here we go. This engine 
is a hand-built AMG two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder with direct injection. But in order to get all that power, the engine has to be spooled up well above 3,000 RPM. And you're not utilizing that at all times. So when you want that power, you've got to put your foot into the throttle, wait for the transmission to gear down or do it manually, and then the car will take off. I'm not saying I'm not enjoying this. It does have a very dialed in performance feel, but the 250 might just be the better all-rounder. Well, I might surprise you by saying this, but of the two cars, the CLA 250, and the 45 AMG, I think I might go for the 250. Sure, this car has got all the power, 355 horsepower, but it's peaky horsepower, which is very common with turbocharged four-cylinder engines. Now, they've mitigated that nicely by putting in the 4MATIC all-wheel drive system, but you're going to be able to get the 4MATIC in the 250 partway through 2014. The 208 horsepower in the base model, I think is a really nice complement to this vehicle. Just enough get up and go to get you away from traffic lights and pass on the highway with ease, but it smooths out this car. It's less choppy, the suspension isn't as dialed in, and the throttle isn't as sensitive. Both cars are fantastic, both are great value, and this is really gonna bring in a whole new buyer to the Mercedes brand.